it's not too late in the year or too hot to grow your own vegetable garden. Even if you don't have 175 acres, we're here in Norfolk at Norfolk Botanical Garden with Director of Horticulture, Les Parks. Les, who has 175 acres? Well, we do, but you don't need all that room to grow a good vegetable garden. You can grow one in just in a small pot. Nice, and people I'm sure are wondering about timing, how much space they really need and what they can grow. So let's start with the pot. Okay, any size pot will do. You know, you can use an old pickle bucket or you can go to a, a garden center and pick up an old pot. They sell these, sell these pretty cheap. The other important thing with the pot is making sure you have it located in a sunny spot. Okay. You need about six hours of sun to get a good vegetable garden. But I know you also need some drainage. Yes. So what if you don't have a pot, like for example, that picket pickle bucket that doesn't have drainage? Well, holes. just get yourself a drill bit and drill some holes in it. And let's talk more about watering yeah. because I think in the summertime it rains so often, sometimes people think that they're off the hook for a couple of days. Yeah, the rule of thumb is to check your pot frequently. After you've had it a while, you'll know how long it takes for it to dry out or, or, or until it needs water again. But don't just assume because we had some brief showers that it had enough water. Well, what is the right type of plant to plant in these well, planters Well, at this now? time of year, you want to pick things that can really take the heat, like tomatoes and peppers, okra, basil, cucumbers, squash, all those things can take the heat. You want to stay away from cool season vegetables like lettuces and greens and, and onions. They don't like it hot. Okay, and so that's what you have right here. Yep, yep. I, I have a variety of things and I've, I've already got some soil in the pot. We make our own here. It's got lots of perlite in it and organic matter, so it's got nutrition in it, plus it's got good drainage. But if you're going to buy soil, spend the money and get the good stuff. And in this particular pot, how many would you put in well, that? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to put about four things in here okay. and they're kind of small now. Um, this is a cherry tomato, which are great for snacking. And um, you just take it out of the pot and then you want to massage the roots a little bit and you'll tear some, but don't, don't fret, that actually stimulates new root growth. And you want to plant it in, everything about level with the soil that it's already in. And then I've also got eggplant that can really take the heat. And then I've also got a cucumber, this will sort of trail over the side so it won't really climb up the rest of the pot. And then to flavor everything, ah, a little, little sweet basil. Love it, yeah. love it. And so you can fit four of them yeah. in a pot that size. We're hanging out in the kitchen garden here at Norfolk Botanical Garden. What's the history behind it? Well, we put this in to show people which vegetables will grow best in this area. And this year we're celebrating Victory Gardens because it's the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II and people planted victory gardens to supplement the nation's food supply. Where can people come visit this garden and see what else is here? Well, if they go to our website, they can get our hours and what attractions are available right now. We're, we're back open for uh, normal times. Wonderful. Les yep. Parks, thank you so much. You're welcome.